hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for waiting and still supporting me on this youtube journey i know i've been mia and that's because i've actually been through so much during these what like three months i think that i haven't talked to you guys um so first let me start off by saying that i finished my eight rounds of chemo that i had to get before i went into surgery to go ahead and remove my entire stomach so on march 13th um i got that surgery where they removed my entire stomach and they went on and attached my esophagus with my small intestine and that's been my life ever since um when i got surgery i was at the hospital for two weeks straight during those two weeks i was in and out of i guess surgeries what i mean by that is that i actually had to get a um a drain a drain chest tube that's connected to my left lung due to um a leakage so before i got this surgery my surgeon told me that with this surgery you can go ahead and have a leakage so 15 percent of people have a leakage i was one of them so unfortunately because of that leakage which means that when i would drink any liquid or you know i would eat and stuff like it would come out of my esophagus and go into like my abdomen area or you know for example, the liquid that I was drinking, it was actually falling into my left lung. So it was creating it was creating fluid. So I had to get that drained out. I went in there twice to go ahead and place the tube right where it's supposed to be. The first time it was misplaced. The second time it was perfect. Although the pain, I would say from a scale through one through ten, it was horrible. It was out of I would say 12 that was so painful I rather give birth again honestly <laughs> I have two kids if you do not know and my second one I actually had him very natural and I rather do that than get that two back into my lung so actually I still have it but let me just start off with when I had surgery so I had that in twice and then my anemia dropped so much that i had to get a blood transfusion and then also mm, i'm trying to think because of my leakage i had to go ahead and get stents i had to get tubes basically i still have them they're in my esophagus so i had to get two stents in that would cause basically the the leakage from falling out so they're like this <laughs> and um i still have them in ever since then i had to go in twice for that as well i went in once to the s surgery room because they had to do that through an endoscopy and they put in a stent and then it was too small i still had a leakage so then they had to go ahead and do another stent which was a longer stent and now i have both of them so after those two weeks i went on and came home and when i did come home they gave me the okay to just drink clear liquid at the hospital i wasn't drinking that i could recall I think I, before I left, I was able to start having clear liquid, but basically when I did come home, I was able to have clear liquid and I was having my liquids and out of a sudden I started to feel like so much back pain, really, really bad. Like I said, I've given natural birth and my back pain was worse than labor contractions so i was holding it down for maybe about another two weeks and then after those two weeks i said you know what i need to go in into the emergency room i can't do this like 
it's I don't know what's gonna happen to me if I stay here at home so I went into the emergency room and I was like I'm in so much pain back pain what do I do so they did a CT and it came out that the one of the stents had migrated so it had moved and it was causing the leakage to still leak which caused an really bad infection in my left lung still i literally had green pus coming out of that drain i had blood coming out i mean even the doctor was surprised he's like how did you handle so much pain how are you able to sleep did you catch fevers and i was like nope i didn't catch fevers i just was in so much excruciating pain that i don't even know how i did it honestly so i was again at the hospital for another week where I still had that drain so they had to re-put the drain because when I came out of the hospital I didn't have no drain when I went back in I had the drain well they had to put it and that's where you know I saw the green pus and I, has, I had an, a really bad infection and then um, between those two weeks as well I lost 14 pounds when I got back home 14 pounds so that was really bad and I it was just horrible so I stayed at the hospital where they took care of that infection I was cleared by the time I went home I went home around April 29th 27 during those days and ever since then I've had to keep my my tube my drain in my left lung which I have now this is what it looks like and this is what comes out of my lung and then I also because I came home with them saying that I had to keep this in because I still had leakage and it had to heal some way or some way or another and that and that is why I have this drain so that if anything leaks into my lung, it goes out through this. So I've had this in ever since like April, April 20th, something like that. And then I'm not able, well, I was not able to eat for a whole month straight or like two months, like a month and a half. And I basically get fed through a pick line so let me show you guys this is what it looks like so it goes in through here and it's here and the bag is in a backpack so it's actually over there and i don't feel like walking over there but this is actually where i was getting fed so basically this has food it has fat it has vitamins it has everything that a body needs and i've been having that also ever since i came out of the hospital um like i said i wasn't able to eat up until maybe last week on thursday which was give me one second It was actually on the 25th on Thursday where the doctor gave me the okay to finally eat because I had some CTs and they and it came out that I have no more leakage. So that's good news. Although um, they haven't took none of this out due to the fact that I still have the stents in my esophagus. And I'm actually scheduled for the end of June to go ahead and take those out. And basically when I do take the stents out, They'll go ahead and take off the TPN. This is called the TPN. And then um, they'll go ahead and take out that tube that's on my lung. And that's honestly about it. That's what's been happening in my life. Give me one second. And... I mean, ever since between surgery and now, my life has changed drastically. I, I'm not able to 
eat a full full meal and if i would want to i can't either way i literally have a meal two meals throughout the entire day and i literally have it in little pieces throughout the day because my stomach won't take it all well my intestine because i have no stomach and i just want to say that i'm very thankful for being here today I feel like sometimes this is an ending. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I just feel like ever since I had surgery, I'm in and out of the hospital. I have attachments. I feel like um, I've definitely gotten better when I had just first came home and, you know, I told you guys about those two weeks before I went into the hospital again, I was very, very nauseous, very nauseous. And feeling nauseous 24-7 feels like you're pregnant all over again. And it was very, very horrible. Even now, honestly, I still have some meals and I feel very nauseous. Although it has it has gotten better, super better. And I was told by the doctor and some people that I do know that don't have a stomach that it takes a while for your body to adjust to like food and, you know, drinks and cold and hot foods. I mean, anything. So you need to give your body time and that, I guess, in like, everything gets better within six months. And honestly, from, it's been almost three months since I've had surgery. And honestly, I can't wait for the day where I feel normal again. But, okay, let's stop talking about that. I'm going to tell you guys about my CT. So, my CT came out, in other words, clear. They saw no metastatic disease. They saw no cancer, which is great news. And the leakage was obviously closed, so that was also good news. And... I'm just very happy for those news, you know? I, I mean, it's it took me a long time to get here where I am today, but I'm very thankful and I thank God for giving me another opportunity to life. And from here on now, I mean, I'm just very, very thankful. And thanks to you guys, you know, for watching, for following me on this journey. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here. It's just... I felt kind of unmotivated and always tired, sleepy. I still am. But I'm here today pushing through to make this video for you guys. And I look forward to making more videos. Hopefully the next time I talk to you guys, I have no more stents in my esophagus. And I'm able to tell you guys a little bit more about what has happened from now until then. But um thank you guys all and i hope to see you guys well hope you guys see me soon thank you